This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Centangle Teacher. And today's lesson is Opus. And it is another fescue with aura and just a different design. Remember, we have to think, what's in a name? But the tangles turn out gorgeous. This is Opus. And Opus with little circles. And Opus done on brown. And I have had... A, I don't know, I, I've had a hard time lately not gripping my pen so close to the tip so you can't see the tip. So I'm going to really try to back out and put my, so you can see the tip of my pen. And I appreciate those who comment and say, Melinda, we can't see the tip of your pen. And uh, I do appreciate that because I'm a, I like to grip right down here and hold on and push hard. And so I'll back off and so that you can see the tip of the pen. We're going to start with Opus. And it comes up and makes a circular kind of a curl. And another curl. And another curl. We're going to do it on the opposite side where it comes around and does a little curl and another little curl and one more curl. Okay, now that you have your little curly hoot, we're just going to echo. Or I should say aura. Put an aura around. Come to here. And you want to go slowly. Don't try to go very fast. And then we come down to the end. And we just do that one time. I'll focus in a little bit so you can see. And now we're going to take these little spaces that are right in here and we're going to aura those. We really never know what shape that's going to be. I like to put one aura up here at the top also. And now we can either fill in with um, orbs or stripes, as I did here. I did a little stripe. So I, I really liked the way the stripes turned out. So we're just going to do a little line. And you notice I've curved it. That same curve as that top line. a little round look and I'm also giving it a little bit of a sparkle there and I'm sorry about my little sniffles all of a sudden my nose started to run a little And I am using a PN pen, which has a plastic nib. It does not have a size of a nib. It's just 
PN and you can order those off of my website and I'm offering a little special right now so look for that little special where you buy moldables of things you get a discount Sometimes I don't know which way to go. I think I'll go this way with this stripe. And there we have um, Opus with striping. Let's take and put a little shading in it. And I'm just going to run my shading right up the center and then take my blending stump and blend it out. And then also I really do like a little shading on my striping. and blend that with your blending stump. Every order gets um, some free blending stumps in it. So when you order, you'll get a, some free blending stumps. And I'm gonna go back and do a few little dots. I did it on this one and I loved how it turned out. So I'll just show you. You can just Do your little dots. They're a great complement. I'm going to rotate it around. It's best to rotate your tile to <clears throat> excuse me to the best position for you. I always like to make sure that my hand is not over the top of what I'm drawing on, so I will rotate my tile. there we have opus hopefully I didn't have my finger over the top of it the whole time I forgot to watch again my bad but thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single video sign your work put your initials and sign your work always forget about that um, shop at inkadoodles.com for your tangle supplies. Thanks for watching and have a great day.